Our lemon battery is producing 0.96 volts, almost a volt. And the two metals we have are copper, the coin, and zinc, the coating of the screw, the galvanized screw. What happens if we try other metals? Do we get different results? So let's take out the coin, take out the screw, and to start with, let's try copper and zinc again. This time we use a copper strip and a zinc strip. Okay, it's about the same. This is 1 volt, 0.99 volts. So with the combination of copper and zinc, we get about a volt. Well, let's take the zinc out and try a piece of iron. Okay, we get electricity, but much less voltage. This is 0.45 less than half a volt. Let's try copper and aluminum. Ah, this is about two-thirds of a volt. Oh, it's going up three-quarters. Hmm, interesting. It's increasing. Okay, it's almost nine-tenths of a volt, 0.88 volts. Now let's leave the aluminum in and let's try substituting another metal for the copper. How about aluminum and iron. Now we get 0.4 volts. And what about aluminum and zinc? Very little, about a tenth of a volt. And actually you see by the minus sign that the electricity is flowing in the other direction. So different combinations of metal give you different voltages. And the one that gives us the highest voltage is what we started with originally, which was copper and zinc.